My name is Guido Calderelli, I'm a statistical physicist and my field of work is that of complex networks. I don't believe that we will be ever in a position to predict when and where a financial crisis will strike. What we can do is that we can study and forecast uh, conditions that could trigger one of these crises and one important thing that we could do is to measure and improve the stability of the financial systems. This FOC project is a future and emerging technologies financed project. Future and emerging technologies is a division of European Commission that is financing this project and the aim is to put together an interdisciplinary consortium just to uh, do basic research in this area. This is a truly interdisciplinary project because we have statistical physicists, we have computer scientists, social scientists, of course economists and experts in finance. Well, since I started this activity on complex networks 10 years ago, together with some collaborators, like for example Diego Carlaschelli, Michele Catanzaro, Stefano Battiston, we worked in an analysis of board of directors, that is a network, we work in the analysis of stock ownership network, and uh, recently we considered the interbank network, and we spotted the fragilities of all these systems. Yes, the basic question that can be uh, described by means of this mathematical structure of the network is the fact that we are dealing with a complex system. So, so whenever you act on a certain point, the effect is not that clear. This is the case, for example, of the food webs in the North Atlantic, where you have uh, cods and seals and then you kill the predators of cods. This not necessarily triggers an increase in the population of cods. And the same is in financial systems. You do the wrong regulation and then you obtain exactly the opposite effect. So this is the interesting stuff. It's trying to understand what causes what in this kind of system. Data are absolutely central in this project because uh, uh, we are uh, now in a society that produces a, a huge amount of data. We are in a pervasive society, we have sensors, we have uh, rare logs of uh, your access to the web and financial transactions, of course. And this is also why networks are useful, because networks can sort out the information and the hidden order in this data. And of course, as a um, traditional scientist, data are crucial in order to validate the models. So data, uh, as a physicist, uh, are really the important thing. Uh, the target uh, that we have in mind for this project, for the FOC project, uh, is not really that of the market, uh, the street market and finance and traders, uh, uh, for which, by the way, it could have an application. Our idea is uh, rather to provide for the first time a quantitative measure of concepts that uh, the policy regulators already know. And they, we really would like to help them to provide a quantitative measure, so our target is really them. So trying uh, to help them in understanding what a complex system is and of course we need a big uh, interdisciplinary effort in order to do so.